Hey percussion students, in this week's video we're going to learn solo number two. The concept that we really need to learn in solo number two is the eighth rest and that's what we're going to do today. In this video we are going to learn the first three lines of music and then on your end you're going to try to use the same strategies that I did to teach yourself the rest of the page. So this is the stuff that I'm going to teach you today. This is how it goes. One, two, ready, go. And that was the first three lines. There's a lot of groove to it. So that's what we're going to learn first. Now, the way that we're going to do this is I'm going to relate the numbers that we learn, the one and two and, I'm going to relate that to pizza rhythms. So what I'm going to say is going to be the numbers, and then what I'm going to write is going to be the pizza rhythms that we learned last week. Let's get started. Here we go. So, let's just start out with the first measure. Here we have four beats in a measure. This is measure one, two, three, and four. When we have four beats in a measure, first we just have to break it up into beats. So this is going to be beat one, this is gonna be beat two, beat three, and beat four, just for where each picture starts. Then, because we have eighth notes, we're going to fill in the ands. Now, if I was to play this, I would say one and two and three and four. If I was to do pizza rhythms, I would think pizza, 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 pie. Either way, let's just speak the rhythm, me first, you second. Ready? One and two and three and four. Your turn. Ready? Go. One and two and three and four. Great. So now let's do the next measure. This measure and this measure have a lot in common. First, we have beat one as a half of a beat rest. This symbol, I'm going to draw nice and big for you, kind of looks like a seven with a dot on it. That is an eighth rest, and that fills up the first half of the beat. So over here we had one and, so it's just like this rhythm except we don't say one. So we think one and. We have to think one and. So that's beat one, and so we would think one and. This is beat two. So this will be two and, this is beat three and, and then this is a quarter note on beat four like normal. So for beat one, two, and three, all I did was remove the number from this rhythm. So now we have one and two and three and four and, and, and four. I follow the same pulse each time. One and two and three and four and 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 four. Notice when I'm tapping the beat on the music stand here, that is occurring on the numbers. In this measure, this happens on these eighth notes. So let's just do this measure or these two measures speaking together. One, two, ready, go. One and two and three and four and 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 four, your turn, ready, go. One and two and three and four, and, and, and four. Make sure that you're tapping the beat or you're moving your body just to feel the pulse, really feel the music. Fantastic. So now we can go down to here and this measure three is the same as measure one. So again, we have one and two and three and 
4. And now, over here, again, we have this is beat 1 with our 8th rest and our single 8th note. That would be our 1 and, but we don't say 1. This would be our 2 and for beat 2, but we don't say 2. Beat 3 is a quarter note and beat 4 is the rest that we don't set. So for this measure, it would be and, and, three, and, and, three, rest. I think one, and, two, and, three, rest. I have to really feel all the numbers and all of the half beats. Great. So now that we have the first four measures in our brains in terms of we understand it, let's do that with pizza rhythms. For these eighth notes, instead of it being pizza, I take out the pizza and all I do is say za. So this two measures would be pizza, 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 pie, za, 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 pie. So in your brain, you think the pizza, the pizza part of that, and all you say is za, but you have to keep the pulse the same, just how you were even in this measure. Pizza, 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 pie, pizza, ta, ta, pie. Pizza, 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 pie, ta, ta, pie. So you have the same ta, ta, pie, but you only have that on two beats and not three. So now let's grab our sticks, make sure that you are tapping your foot, and let's play this. Just the first four measures on our instrument. Here we go, guys. So. Everyone tap your foot, and let's get started. Now, we're going to play the first four measures out of your book. If you notice at the top, it says quarter note equals 116. Well, on my app, I set it to 116. I press play. And that is the speed that we will play this at. So first, with the metronome, I'm going to just speak the rhythms using the pizza words. Here we go. One, two, ready. Pizza, 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 pie. Ta, 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 pie. Pizza, 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 pie. Ta, ta, pie. If that was a little fast, that's okay. I want you to go at your speed. Feel that pulse. If you have a metronome, which I really hope that you download one, or if you just go in Google, metronome, M-E-T-R-O-N-O-M-E. -E. Google has one right there for you. All you have to do is press the right number. So now let's play this with our sticks. The big thing is wherever I, you're going to have every beat, which every number is going to be your right hand. So your right hand will always play the numbers. So the one and two and three and four and then in the next measure it's not going to play on the eighth rests so your left hand is always going to play these or the and so let's do the first two measures it's nice and slow one two ready go one and two and three and four and Notice in measure two, I just went left hand, left, 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 right. You can almost imagine this would be, in terms of the sticking pattern, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. If we did the same thing, right, left, well, this would be your right hand, but we don't play it because it's a rest, it's silence. Our left hand here, right, left, right, left, right. So that's why we go left, 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 right. Let's do that with the metronome. First two measures. One, two, ready, go. One and two and three and four and 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 four. Great. Now let's move on to the next two measures which starts the same way but then it's a little different. If I say it with the pizza rhythms first I'm gonna go Pizza, 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 pie, ta, ta, pie. If I play it, one and two and three and four and and three. 
So make sure that you only do two eighth notes here, unlike how you did three up there. Let's do these two measures, measures three and four, together. A one, two, three, and four. One and two and three and four and and three. Try that much again. One, two, ready, go. One and two and three and four and and three. Rest. Great. Now, if you're not ready to go on, stop the video right now. Go back. See if you can try to rewatch this because I know it's a little confusing. And go over measures one, two, three, and four. If you are ready, we're going to play this all at once. So, without further ado, let's do the first four measures together. One, one, two, one, two, ready, go. One, and two, and three, and four, and, and, and four. One, and two, and three, and four, and, and three. Great job. Now we're going to move on to measures five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, everyone, now we're going to move on to measures five, six, seven, and eight. If you need to, I want you to grab a pencil and mark what the measure numbers are just so that you can follow along. Measure five looks like this. Measure six and seven have these weird symbols in there. And then measure eight looks like this. First, let's just say, what do these symbols even mean? Well, if you go back onto um, the first lesson, it'll mean that you repeat what the previous measure was. So, here's measure five. You see notes, so you play the notes. When you see this symbol, you play measure five again. Well, then this happens in measure seven. And it says, well, if I use this symbol, repeat the last measure, I go back to here while I was repeating this measure. So actually I do measure five in this measure, in measure six, and in this measure, in measure seven. And then in measure eight, it changes. In music, a lot of times we feel in terms of four measures. And this is how we feel the beat. One, two, ready, and. So there's a sense of style, and this really feels like the end of the musical line. And, 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 four, and, 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 four, and, 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 four, and. If I just stop right there, it doesn't feel like it's finishing out. If I play that measure, it feels like it comes to a close, like how a book has an end to the story. And, 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 four, and, 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 four, and, 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 four, and, and, two, and, three. So it has a sense of style. So now let's go ahead and write in these notes. First we have, in this measure, I just want to circle the beats. This is beat one. This is beat two, because we have an eighth rest, which is half of the beat. So we're not done the beat yet. And then this is another half of the beat on the eighth note. So then Half plus a half equals one. We're done the whole beat. Then we do this beat. It's the same thing. Now this beat three and four are a little tricky because it happens. This symbol, beat four starts within a different symbol. So we still have an eighth rest and an eighth note. And then this eighth note's just tied over here to these two eighth notes. So those two eighth notes on beat four is just normal, right? You're used to there being... Um, it on beat four. So if I write in the counts, I'm going to write in the and because I don't say one. I'm going to write in the and because I don't say two. I'm going to write in the and because I don't say three, but I do write in four and. So let's do that right now. Just speaking the rhythms, it sounds like this. One, two, three, four. And, 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 four, and. Speak that with me. Ready? Go and, 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 four, and. If I do pizza rhythms, it would be, again, we don't say the pizza part of here. Pizza, ta, ta, pizza. So we have ta, 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 pizza, ta, 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 pizza. You can try it whichever way you feel comfortable. Now, let's play this. Again, this is going to be 
our left hand, left hand, left hand, right hand, left hand. So it would be like this. Left, 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 right, left. Ta, 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 pizza, or and, and, and for and. Whatever you feel comfortable. Because again, I'm not you. Whatever works. There's three different ways that you can feel it. Numbers, sticking, or pizza rhythms. Doesn't matter to me. So now, what we have to do is we have to play this rhythm one, two, three times total. So, let's do this now. One, two, tap your foot. Oh, one, two, ready, go. Ta, 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 pizza. Ta, 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 pizza. Ta, 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 pizza. And that was three times total. Now let's finish this out by learning the last measure in this four, measure eight. So again, just how up here we had an eighth note and then we have or eighth rest and then we have three eighth notes connected. Beat one ends in the middle of these eighth notes. So that would be another one and or ta. This is gonna be our beat two. Two and or pizza. So ta pizza. And then on quarter notes we say pi. That would be beat three, just one quarter note beat, and beat four is a rest. So what do we write? We go rest and two and three rest. And this just feels fun. It has style. One, two, three, four, and two, and three. Try that. One, two, three, four, and two, and three. Left, right, left, right. Or ta, pizza, pa. Just make sure that that note is played with your left hand first. Also, at this time, you have to really feel the beat. Make sure you have a good, firm grip. If I'm not really gripping right, it doesn't really have the same style as really play nice and full right into the drum. So now we can play these four measures. Again, we're going to play measure five. Then we're going to play this material in six and seven because of these repeat symbols. And then eight is going to be unique and on its own. Here is measure five, six, seven, and eight. Here's the metronome clicking. One, two, one, two, ready, go. And, 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 four, and, and. Let's try that again. I'm going to use the pizza rhythms. One, two, one, two, ready. And, and, and four, and, 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 and four, and, 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 and four, and, and two, and three. I said I was going to do pizza rhythms. I make mistakes too, guys. It's okay. One, two, one, two, ready, and. Ta, 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 pizza. Ta, 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 pizza. Ta, ta. Pizza, pizza pie. So, if you need to stop the video right now and review measures five, six, seven, and eight, go do so. Just back it up a couple minutes and you'll be successful. But now I'm going to move on and we're going to play measures nine, 10, 11, and 12. So, now that we're starting to understand how we break up these beats. I'm just gonna go ahead and go through a little quicker, just writing in the letters. I'm not gonna start circling all the beats. So again, this is measure nine, 10, 11, and 12. First, let's just talk about what we have to play. Measure nine has notes and measure 10 has this symbol. So we play in this measure, the material from measure nine. It's a way that we can save ink and you can just read this twice as opposed to having to think more than once. So here we have, we have the quarter or the eighth rest and the and, another one and, and four and. We had this rhythm, it's the same rhythm as, as measure uh, five. It's the same measure as measure five. So then this will be the same. So we have and, and, and four, and, 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 and four, and. Here we have the same rhythm twice 
it just occurs on beat one and two and beat three and four. So here we get rid of the one. So we have and, two, and. And here, this is where three would go, so we don't write that. And we have and, four, and. So that would be and, four, and, 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 two, and, and, four, and. If I take out the one and the three, it's and, two, and, three, and, four, and. And finally, this last measure is the same as measure um, eight. We just have rest and two and three. And then we have a quarter rest on beat four. So let's learn measure nine and 10 all at once. First, speak the rhythms and let's do pizza rhythms first. So this is going to be one, two, ready, go. <laughs> Ta, ta, pizza, ta, 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 pizza. Now let's play it on our instrument. One, two, ready, go. Ta, 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 pizza, ta, 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 pizza. Great. Now we're gonna go ahead and learn measures 11 and 12. Because we go, and, ta, pizza, ta, pizza, ta, pizza, pie. So we just kind of push this rhythm all the way across these two measures like this. One, two, ready, go. Ta pizza, ta pizza, ta pizza pie. Fantastic. Now, you might notice in the book, and I didn't write this yet, but there's what's called a crescendo over the course of these measures. I know my lines are not very straight. Excuse me, not a computer. And that means that we go from a smaller sound or a smaller dynamic to a larger dynamic where the lines are close, that means small, and you get louder. Kind of like a crocodile's mouth opens up, gets bigger and bigger and bigger. So let's do from here to here, we're going to start a little softer and get loud at the end. With the metronome on, one, two, one, two, ready, go. And, 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 four, and, 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 four, and, and, two, and, and, three, and, and, four, and, one. Good job. Let's try that one more time. One, two, one, two, three, go. And, 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 four, and, 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 four, and, and, two, and, and, four, and, and, two, and, three. And you can really make sure that you really go forward into and two and three. Great. So now let's move ahead and we're going to learn measures 13, 14, 15, and 16. So guys, right now we're about to learn measures 13, 14, 15, 16. And this is going to go pretty fast because these two measures, 13 and 14, are actually the same as 15 and 16. I hope you guys are catching on that in music there's tons of repetition, right? You set up a cool rhythm, you keep playing it, then you mix it up a little bit, and then you keep changing it. But even though you keep changing it, within those changes, there's a lot of structure. Here we have a lot of repetition. So first, let's go into and do our counts. So in this measure, we have eighth notes on beats on beat one. So we are going to write as usual, one and. Now, this eighth note occurs on beat two, so we won't write two. Now, this eighth note occurs on the and of two. Here we have another eighth rest or silence on beat three. And so we finish it out with an and four and. So we can go one and, and, and four and, or we can go pizza, Ta, ta, pizza, or we can go right, left, 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 right, left. Let's just do that measure really quick. One, two, three, go. One, and, 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 four, and. Try it again. One, two, ready, go. One, and, 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 four, and. Great. So, now let's go on and do this measure. We have a new symbol in this measure, and it's called a dotted quarter note. So it is as simple as drawing a quarter note and putting a dot next to it. And this means that it's worth 1.5 beats. 
So if we have four beats in a measure, we can do some simple math. In this measure, we have the first half of the measure and the second half of the measure. This symbol would take up beat one, and then this symbol would take up the first half of beat two. So here we would write one, and we would hold that out through beat two, and we would say the and of two. So we would think one and, one and, three and. And the same thing happens, three and. So the e this eighth note happens right here, and this eighth note happens right here. All we do is we hold out beat one and we hold out beat three. So it is going to sound like this. One, two, three, and. One, and three, and. Try it yourself. One, two, three, go. One, and three, and. If I play with the metronome, you're going to hear a click happen right in between me playing this note and this note. One, two, ready, go. One, and three, and. It's a little hard to hear, so I'm going to slow this down a lot. Two, ready, go. One, and. See how I pause on that beat one and three? Let's do measures 13 and 14 together all at once. I'm going to speak it first, then I'm going to play it with pizza rhythms, and then we're going to play it with right, left, right, left. One, two, three, go. One and, and, and four, and one, and three, and. Pizza rhythms. One, two, ready, go. Pizza, ta, ta, pizza, pie, ta, pie, ta. Pie, ta, yeah, pie, ta. Because on a quarter note you say pie, and on an eighth note you say ta. So, I know it's a little weird. Pie, ta. <laughs> Let's do measures 13, 14, and 15 and 16, because 15 and 16 are the same as 13 and 14. Here we go with the metronome. Back up to speed, 116. One, two, one, two, ready, go. Pizza, ta, ta, pizza, pie, ta, pie, ta. Again, two, oh, one, two, ready, go. Great. So now that we know measures 13, 14, 15, and 16, we can move on to finish this out. The last thing we're going to do is measure 16, 17, 18, or 17, 18, 19, and 20. Now, Right now I have 13, 14, 15, 16 on the board. And here's how I'm gonna edit it. First I'm gonna get rid of 13, 14, 15, and 16. Then I'm gonna grab my marker and I'm gonna see, well, what's different about it? Oh, it's actually all the same just up until the last couple beats. So here I change this measure to one and three, Four with the quarter note and then all I have to do is add the measure number 17 is here 18 was the same 19 was the same and then only 20 was a little different than what 16 was so now with that I'm gonna just go through pretty quickly let's just play measure 20 me first you second one and three four one two ready go one and three four how about this ready pi it's a pie, pie. One, two, ready, go. Pie, it's a pie, pie. How about right, left, right, left. One, two, ready, go. Right, left, right, left. Great job. So now, with that, let's play measure 17, 18, 19, and 20 all together. One, two, oh, one, two, ready, go. One, and, and, and four, and one, and three, and one. That's how I really play this last measure nice and full again. So with that, guys, 
what I want you to do is try measures 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20 all in a row. So take your finger, count forward all the way to measure 13, and this is the last thing we're going to do. Once the video is done, I want you to stop, go back to the beginning, and see if you can play all the way forward from the beginning to the end, and ask your parents if you can send me a video. If not, don't forget to fill out the Google form after you're done practicing for this week. And don't just play through this video once, play through it like a couple times until you really improve and make it really well. So here's starting in measure 13 all the way through 20. One, two, a one, two, ready, go. So guys, I miss you. I hope this video helped. Remember to always feel the beat. Remember to always have a good grip on your sticks and always have fun. Stay musical. Bye-bye.